Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Living the Life Show. I'm your host, Columbus Cody. And today, today's topic, I, oh, wait, before I do that, let me say thank you so much for joining me. It's been a long time since we've done a show. Uh, let's just pretend we're starting season two. You know, people get hyped up for the next season. So let's just pretend this is season two and it wasn't just me not having time to make more videos. Today's lesson was inspired months ago and I'm just now getting a chance to shoot this show, so I hope it blesses you like it blessed me. I titled today's lesson, Dental Hygiene and the Devil, because it, it stems from a situation that happened to me that I got something stuck in my teeth and God showed me the connection between what was going on in my life, in my mouth, and what goes in our life as it relates to sin. All right. In John 10 and 10, the Bible says, uh, the thief cometh but for to steal, kill and destroy. But I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Jesus tells us that he comes that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Well, one day a friend of mine, she was telling me that there's this coconut chicken in a restaurant in Nashville that's supposed to be the best thing since sliced bread. It's supposed to be the bomb. All right. So she's like, I'm going to bring you some one day. I'm going to bring you some. So she brings me this coconut chicken. And uh, it's a big chicken breast, coconut all over it, fried in a perfect batter, some mashed potatoes and some green bean casserole. Now, normally I wouldn't touch the green bean casserole because I don't like that stuff. But that day I was hungry, so I bit into it and wow, even that was delicious. Now, the chicken, out of this world delicious, okay? It was great, but what happened after the chicken was my problem. What happened afterwards, I got a piece of coconut stuck in my teeth, okay? No big deal, you're thinking, wrong, okay? I thought that what had happened was, because once I got that feeling in my mouth, I immediately started to floss to get it out. However, when I finished flossing, it, I still felt it. So I said, okay, maybe I didn't, I don't have anything in my teeth, maybe I scratched my gum with the coconut or with the, the batter from the chicken. I was deceived. And see, that's what sin does. Initially, it deceives us. It, sin will never show you its true meaning for your life. Sin never shows us itself as sin. It always presents itself as something to be enjoyed, something to take part in, okay? So think about that. Sin never, ever presents itself for what it really is, okay? So as long as I thought the issue was a scratched gum, I was never going to deal with the real issue. And as long as you think that sin is no big deal, you're never going to deal with the big issue, the real issue. See, I flossed, but when I flossed, it was painful. And so I stopped flossing or I didn't floss deep enough because it hurt to go deeper into my gum line. Now, think about what I'm saying. Sometimes dealing with sin can be painful. No one wants to admit that they're a sinner. No one wants to admit that what they're doing is wrong, but it takes that if you're going to be freed from the pain. From uh, It's weird. You've got to go through it to get out of it. You may have to deal with the consequences of your sin in order to get out of it. You can't magically expect you pray and ask God to heal you, uh, to take away sin, and then everything you've done is gone and wiped away. Now, the consequence of your sin as it relates to death might be gone, but you may have to deal with the consequences of what remains. For instance, fornication to God is a sin. Fornication means having sex outside of marriage, before marriage. So let's say I fornicate and I get a young lady pregnant and I ask God to forgive me for my sin. He forgives me for my sin and I'm no longer going to live in eternity in hell because I've made a bad decision and became sexually active. However, I'm still the father of a child and there's a consequence I will have to deal with for the rest of my life and that child's life. Okay? So the consequence of sin doesn't isn't erased, but the consequence or the destiny of my life can be changed by asking for forgiveness. Okay? Whole another story. Anyway, back to the subject. So I had the chicken or the coconut in my teeth. I'm flossing, but it hurts, so I don't want to floss anymore. And I keep telling myself it's nothing in my teeth because nothing's coming out. It's just a scratched gum. However, as I floss the next day, I start noticing there's a funny smell. It stinks. 
and it's coming out of my mouth, which means now it's leading to decay. So it went from deception to decay. Now in your life right now, you could take a self-assessment, find, think about this. Do I have anything in my life that just stinks? Is there any part of my life that's riding away, that is wasting away? Is there any part of my life that is falling apart, that's decay? Because it started with deception. Now it's going to lead to decay. And if I don't deal with what's in there now, if I don't deal with the sin in the decay phase, it could lead to my destruction. Again, John 10 and 10, the Bible says that the thief come but to steal, kill, and you got it, destroy. He wants to destroy, destroy our chances of being the men and women God wants us to be. Destroy our chances of getting back to God. And if I don't take care of my dental hygiene, I can destroy a lot of things and deal with my health. OK, I can definitely destroy my mouth and my gums. But the bacteria and things that build up in your mouth can lead to other health issues. Again, a whole nother story. OK, now I thought I was cleaning deep enough. Many of you think you are living clean enough. But when you go to the dentist, you're going to find out just how clean your mouth really is. I've never gone to the dentist and found out I'm just doing this perfect job. The dentist is always like, wow, you've got a lot of plaque. You've got a lot of tartar. I know you've been brushing and flossing. I can tell, but you still have a lot that needs to be done. See, Jesus is like the dentist. You keep your mouth clean, but when you go to him, no, he doesn't judge you. He says, if you're willing to lay in this chair and allow me to examine you, then I'm going to help you get your teeth, your mouth, your life up to a standard that you have a healthy life, healthy mouth. But if we allow that decay to remain, that stem from the deception, then we may have to deal with destruction. See, when it comes to Jesus, there's no deception, only revelation. When you go to the dentist, you find out exactly what's wrong with your mouth. When you come to Jesus, you'll find out exactly what's wrong in your life. There's no reason to hide it from you. He wants you to know so that you can get clean and change. He wants you to know so that you can turn over, come back to him. So once I pushed past the pain and I dug in there real deep one day and I pulled out this tiny, tiny, tiny piece of coconut. And I said, my Lord, that little thing was causing that much pain in my life. That little bitty piece of coconut felt like my mouth was on fire. And that little bitty sin that you're allowing to remain in your life, I know it doesn't seem like much. It's killing you. It's killing you. That little thing that you think is no big deal because everybody else is doing it, it's killing you. You got to allow Jesus to clean your life so that you can live for him. You got to. I mean, think about it. If he came that you might have life and life abundantly, why would you not want to have that life? Think about this. Who wants to walk around with stuff stuck in their teeth? So why would you want to walk around with stuff stuck in your life if you don't have to? Jesus came to set you free, and you can be free if you allow him to free you. So, it's my prayer, it's my desire, that as you watch this video, you thought to yourself, I've got things in my life that I know aren't right. Or, you know what, you might not even realize it's something in your life that's not right because you're deceived. Ask the Lord right now, to enter your heart. Ask the Lord right now to cleanse your life and set you free. When I took that floss that last time and I pushed it up there and I pulled out that piece of coconut, I felt relief instantly. 
I was free from pain instantly. No more bad odor coming from my tooth instantly. And the Lord can save you instantly if you ask him into your heart today. Three things I want you to do for me. Three. All right, are you ready? Number one, I want you to click down there somewhere and like this video. Go ahead and do that real quick. Boop. All right, you did it. Second thing I want you to do, I want you to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Somewhere down there, it says subscribe, somewhere down there. And push it right Boop. now, got it. All right, the last thing I want you to do, is I want you to share this video with someone else. I know it's gonna bless someone else. I know there's a lot of us that are dealing with deception in our lives. Some of us are dealing with the decay of our lives, that things just don't seem right. Things stink for us. And we need God to clean us thoroughly, completely, so that we can be freed before we deal with destruction. All right. God bless you until I see you again on the Living the Life show. Take care.